Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Herbert's science class. I'm Dave Herbert and today we're going to talk about learning how to fly some of these helicopters. Since I began making videos showing how to fly helicopters and tips, I've been inundated with people's questions and their total frustration with not being able to learn how to fly a helicopter. So, in trying to make it a little easier for everybody, I've come up with a training stand that might make it a little less intimidating for you to try to learn to fly on and also a way to trim up your helicopter. So let's take a look at what I've done. Okay, this is the plan. This is what we're going to build today. Our new helicopter training stand. And this is the parts that we will need. The plywood base I have here is three quarters of an inch thick, by four feet long, by 24 inches wide. I'm going to cut this in half. I will maybe be able to make two bases from this. Right there is the center. Okay, now that I know I've got the center, I'm going to go ahead and drill a pilot hole here. Okay, the next thing I've done is just taken a piece of wire and I tied it around the screw here and just dropped it down into the, into the hole. And now I'm going to use this as a compass. By holding the wire tight and starting right at the edge, I'm going to draw a circle. And there we go, we have a perfect circle in the middle now. Here we're going to have to cut this half off first. Okay, once you've got your circle cut out, you want to take sandpaper and sand all the edges and make sure there's no splinters. Okay, next thing we're going to do is put the, a hole in here so we can put this pivoting rod on the bottom for balance. So we're going to drill the hole right now. And we're going to put this bolt in now. Okay. There's how it should look when you get it done. And that is the pivot part that is going to balance on the floor. Next, I'm, uh, we're going to mount this and I need to drill the holes first. So what I'm doing is taking a uh, punch and just putting it in here and marking Okay, got it bolted on, this is how it looks on the bottom, and uh, we're ready to put the foam pads on now. Okay, I'm going to cut them as I mark them here with the razor blade. Okay, next I've marked all corners here where I'm going to put on the foam. I've got my electric glue gun, and it's just very simple. All I do is take the electric glue gun like this, I put a dab of glue right here, Lay that back down a second and push that on there like that. And that's it. We're going to do it to all of them. Okay, you want to adjust this bolt in the middle so that it really sticks out only about an inch and a half if you're using uh, one inch foam on the sides. And when that's down on the ground, now we will have this total shock absorber effect for our plate. As you see, I've got the washer on the end of my slider rod that is just slightly bigger. Okay, now I'm just going to put a douse of 
petroleum jelly on the end of the and I am going to go ahead and insert the slider into the receiver group here that goes all the way up in there like this and then I've got the lightweight springs this is adjustable to uh, whatever you like I'm gonna go ahead and start with these two and we're gonna drop that in there just like that put the screw in now I'm just gonna take the unit screw it together into the base like this I put this on with hose clamps this is a 12 inch small bungee cord I put that on with hose clamps so this makes a very good tight uh, fit here with the clothes clamp so it's not going to come off and also makes it adjustable hey what I've done now is I've taken a quarter inch piece of wood drilled a hole in it that's kind of sloppy here on the top and putting a, uh, a flat shoulder bolt in it and this is going to actually screw in I've drilled a hole in the top of the uh, slider rod here and this is going to screw in there this is where the helicopter will hook on it has some up and down movement here and uh, some left and right and also then straight up with the strain relief and of course the base will rock and roll here. Let's go ahead and hook the helicopter to it and see what happens. Make sure to mount your helicopter as close to the center of gravity as possible which is the main shaft because that's where it's trimmed. It's slightly trimming it so I can get it just right. That's pretty well trimmed there. This is what we're trying to do is just keep it level. You can see it left, right, forward, backwards. Take it easy with these controls. Slight movement. The idea is to hover it level. Gives you the feel for how much throttle movement you just need a little tiny bit on the left stick. Just tiny bit to make it go up. So you got to remember that. This helicopter is going to leap off the ground in reality. But this will give you a feel of how it should work.